this cooler is fucking massive. And I love it. To get right into this, this is the Asetek 690LX. This massive radiator AIO is a very specialized product and is designed for people who aren't me. People who are actual professionals, people who are insane overclockers, and people who know what they're doing. I got my hands on one because the uh, really nice people over at Ace Tech, thanks Dennis and Michael, happened to have an extra one laying around that I get to play with. Not only does this thing have a massive radiator, it has a ginormous block of copper for the CPU cold plate. Now this cooler is specifically designed, if you couldn't tell, for socket LGA3647. For CPUs that are this freaking massive. Now what I have here is a 20 core 40 thread Xeon Gold 6138. This is an engineering sample CPU, although it is qualifying and all that stuff, so it's basically a stock version. Just it says uh, Intel Confidential on it, which I think is pretty cool. So in today's video, all I'm gonna do is just kind of build a really stupidly overpowered system featuring this cooler and uh, this massive CPU, and we're just gonna test it out in the workload that 20 core 40 thread CPUs should probably be the best at um, gaming. So let's, uh, Let's get right into the build. So I actually love the motherboard here. It's part of the reason I got this socket. Part of the reason I got the CPU is because the motherboards are so freaking cool. Oh, I've got RAM in it. That's where that very expensive RAM kit went. Now this motherboard specifically is the ASRock Rack EPC 621D8A. That was a mouthful. And uh, it's pretty stacked. This thing is uh, pretty insane. We've got eight dim slots, although only six of them are really what you should be using because it is this CPU supports six channel memory, which is super stupid and amazing to me. Uh, we've actually got them filled with some pretty interesting dims. I actually still think I'm not allowed to tell you about them fully. We've also got our LGA3647 socket for the Xeon Scalable and W lineup. We've got two M.2s, U.2, ton of SATA. Just, I mean, it's really just a, a massive board. Our 24 pin's up here. Our 8 pin is down here for EPS, which is super crazy. Uh, VGA for the onboard graphics, and the onboard graphics on this board aren't actually too bad. They've got 128 megabytes of VRAM on board, which isn't a ton or awesome or anything, but that's like, that's pretty good for motherboard integrated graphics. Could not afford a new one if I needed one. And also have no idea which way this went. Oh, okay, so it's like this. It's kind of just a drop in kind of deal. So we drop that in, we bend one pin, hundreds of dollars go down the drain. Now we're going to try to install this freaking behemoth. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Um, Let's have it going out this way to be easier. So there is no retention mechanism for the CPU itself. I forgot thermal paste. Good job to everyone who noticed. This, <laughs> I forgot this thing uses so much thermal paste. Thankfully Arctic MX4, I have a ton of it. And there's no rules because the people who use these things know what they're doing already. So uh, we're gonna draw an X and then just kind of dot our I's and fuck our T's. There we go. Plenty of thermal paste. There are gonna be so many companies mad at me and will never work it with me again if I mess this up. And I'm not extremely confident Oh, it took my my head a bit. What the hell? Is that on? Does that look like it's on? I mean, it looks like it's at least touching. That is a slab of copper if I've ever seen one. This, now, it looks like it probably won't be just because, you know, the, the heat 
the cold plates the size of CPU, but this is going to be overkill. This is complete overkill. Where is the CPU fan? It's like over this way. Yes, this is a great idea. Let's 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 balance this. I think it should be fine actually. Like that. Now, let's grab the rest of our components here. So for our boot drive, pretty simple gaming. Pretty simple. We've just got our 970 Evo that's got a bunch of games on it and stuff. Nothing special. So I've got our RTX 3070 installed, our 970 Evo, and for our power supply, this is the theme of this build is just freaking best parts that the, it's some of the best stuff I have. That's just, and the power supply is no different. Uh, this is the NJ700 from Silverstone, 80 plus titanium, highest rated power supply I have ever owned, 700 watts, plenty for our system, and uh, completely fanless. Uh, anything that is linkable in the description below, I will link in the description below. So. Just know that. I think I put this the wrong way because our 24 pin is on the other freaking side. Welcome back to We're Doing It Again, boys. It's not from the lineup Azrock idiot who spent way too much money on server grid things he should have known. It's Azrock rack. It should go in a rack mount case, you know, with rack power supplies and stuff. Ooh, I should have used the FSP twins. Oh, CPU connector goes. Oh, I should have put this in the second slot down. No. Let's get it out now before I deal with it later. Now, I don't recommend running your 3070 in an 8x slot, but, but for the sake of the build, I don't really care. And I don't like putting in the 16x slots because they have locks that I don't like. But after its boot sequence, it should switch to the display port, so I shouldn't need to have a VGA connection. See, guys, that's the problem with having air in your pump. So you don't want to put your radiator below your pump in a loop, especially. I No, no, yeah. You want your pump to be at the bottom or as close to the bottom of the loop as possible with your rad at the top so the bubbles can settle at the end of the rad. Now, this is not the solution you should have to this problem. If I do say so myself, but hey man, to each their own. Because now our temps, let's see. We're looking in the 70s before. Yeah, now we're looking at 32, 40, 29. Oh, no, no 40s, 20s, 29 degrees, 32 degrees. Please verify. Really, GTA? You can't verify that I have the game on Steam, even though I fucking have the game on Steam. What if I didn't have internet, huh? And I just wanted to, what if I just wanted to fucking hop on a little bit of GTA 5? You are dumb and I hate you. Can I hop on a rainbow? Can I play some offline Rainbow Six Siege? Why does every game require an internet connection, man? You know, that's like so dumb to- wait, hold on. Yeah, that's definitely not good. Alright, so after just a little bit of cranky jank testing, as you can see here, by my amazing test bench, uh, I have discovered that although this CPU is not meant for gaming, with the proper cooling and a really good graphics card, it can do just okay. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Not entirely sure what else to say. I mean, here, let's unplug these fans. So I don't break my fingers. This thing is freaking massive. And if you happen to have an LGA 3647 professional workstation slash server CPU laying around in a motherboard with a, uh, narrow ILM mounting, then the uh, 690LX from Asus Tech is right for you. But if you don't happen to have an LGA 3647 workstation with a $1,000 plus dollar CPU lying around, then I would highly recommend Asus Tech's other products like the 645LT 92mm AIO or the uh, anything else because they're all really freaking good. So I'll be leaving links to uh, some of those in the description below. Thank you again to Ace Tech for sponsoring this video and for uh, sending me this really freaking awesome massive cooler, which I am legitimately going to be using for a build coming up soon. So if you want that build or if you want to vote on what's going to go in that build because I'm working on a new server and uh, kind of want some input, uh, feel free to stay tuned and check the community tab for votes on that as I like getting input from you guys as to what I should do in my future videos. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. And again, this thing is freaking massive and I love it. Stay tuned for the full build. Uh, love you guys. I'll see you next one.
Peace.